హాయ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ గుడ్ ఈవినింగ్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ శ్రీ కృష్ణ సాఫ్ట్ స్కిల్స్ సో ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ ఐఎమ్ వెరీ థ్యాంక్ఫుల్ టు ఆల్ ద హూ ఆల్రెడీ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ మై ఛానల్ అండ్ ఎస్పెషల్లీ టుడే బి సెలబ్రేటెడ్ గణేష్ చతుర్థి సో హ్యాపీ వినాయక్ చవితి టు ఆల్ ఆర్ world subscribers and and YouTube viewers and, uh, entire people who are watching this video. Okay? Yeah. So, today we are going to learn a interesting and people who already working in the company or already trying into the com- uh, interviews who are uh, being like uh, uh, preparing these interviews. so after once they'll get the job then uh, if they handling some project okay right then you are selected for some ibm so the ibm will hand over to some client okay so you are reporting manager from those then you will hand over some other project x project so once you mapping that project so when you join that so what are the things you may do in the project as a thing then you have an a power bi or the skill developer some other java developer dot net developer. but in those project so how we handle what is the kt session what is the sprint planning so when you join in this uh, project your reporting manager uh, sorry your project manager will come and he schedule one meeting yeah for example uh, the name is uh, like uh, uh anu uh, yeah anusha for example is the candidate's name is anusha okay when you mapping with this project yeah your manager will call you and yeah hey hi anusha yeah this is so and so my name is this is been working in this project i am the project manager so tomorrow or day after tomorrow then we will Uh, have a meeting with you regarding this project already you have mapped with this one okay then you attend and then you they will explain you all the details of project this is the project and uh, this is the our architecture and this is the flow of project and uh, you are as a power bi developer then you been to work in this one you want to calculate this one this one this thing okay then in there step then you may you may see the these are the words as of now you don't see anywhere because of your putting in some three or four years experience already you've been work that's fine okay but you don't have any idea about the what is the sprint planning what is the azure devops and what is the scrum master who is the scrum master everything then we are going to learn in this video okay yeah let's get started before going to this video please who doesn't who don't have subscribed this channel yet please do subscribe and do your subscription is you are interesting to do the more videos okay due to some my technical reasons then i could not able to upload the videos in daily basis then i'll be going to share the videos by weekly friday or saturday and already we have a lot of videos to get and to uh, uh, crack this interview and then all those things okay yeah let's get started yeah first agenda for today first is the kt session what is a kt session when you join the immediately whenever the your project manager will give you the kt session what is a stand up meeting okay in our interview in a tell about yourself yeah i have been attending this daily stand up meeting to get the business requirements actually what is a stand up meeting why we require for the stand up meeting okay then we will discuss and sprint meeting what is a sprint oh i don't know the sprint the meeting and what is the planning for sprint and the retrospective what is the retrospective just we have heard the retrospective what i don't know the exactly the retrospective okay those and backlog refinement what is the backlog refinement and monthly release those to be going to be learned in this session yes one by one then we are going to learn individual okay first one is kt session what is a kt session the kt session is nothing but the knowledge transfer kt is the full form of knowledge in the software industry most of the people are using ta ga 
good morning gm yeah hey looks good lgtm looks good to me and uh, kts and then uh, yeah eod those they will pronunciation you may understand in the starting onwards we do not understand what is the kt we are searching the kt in youtube we may not get kt because of it is internal internal search okay yeah so the kt is a knowledge transfer so that project which you are going to handle for example this is the project like a healthcare project in the healthcare project there are multiple reports is there in healthcare domain so then what is the like uh, dimension table what is the fact table how you get the data where is the data been actually there are the table multiple tables what you are going to be analyzed and what you are going to the power query editor what you are going to be the uh, develop this project so this is the client requirement so they are providing the some sessions kt sessions okay this is the data from here to get the data from the different sources like that all the information they will give you the like mock up so they this is the report there is the slicer there are the filter there is the bookmark this is the report this is the table this is the mock the like the those thing whatever the technically then they describe on the kt session and they will explain you so this is about the kt okay don't worry about this kt they will give you and sometimes they don't give kt is directly they will handling the project that this is the, our project this is the like your project manager introducing and then you direct start yeah this is our tables and then you may start so without kt how can we find there is a table how would be the data is there at least we know understand something na so that is the is a kt yeah second is yeah sprint meeting so stand up meeting sorry stand up meeting when you join the company immediately like client some azure devop team or the business analyst they'll share you some stand up meetings and then uh, retrospective meeting and then scrum call and then monthly release call and then backlog refinement and then those they will send you invitations you will accept that one and then you will note somewhere in your either your calendar when you open your outlook then you may see yeah, today what is the calendar so every time then whenever you are uh, like uh, saying in your earlier or in your previous your friends or some your colleagues yeah yeah just give me moment i will check my calendar is there any availability time or any busy schedule any client meetings like that so this is the way for example when you join then you start the stand up meetings all those everything yeah this is time to read kt and this is time to daily stand up meeting okay yeah you will check with the stand up meeting then what are the actually what happened then we will see the next video in the stand up meeting what we will discuss actually all the team members are meet together and then we will discuss over what we have done yesterday what we are going to today and what we are going to future planning okay that is the stand up meeting coming to the third one that is a sprint meeting so sprint meeting is what we are going to analyze actually so what is the one of the requirement to prepare the what is the missing beds in the your hospital what are the emergency cases in your last 3 months that is a your requirement so in this sprint then you are going to work that is a pbi what is a pbi what is the azure devap and everything then we will learn in the next video because of this is for the like these six points then we are going to we are going to elaborate in this more about azure devap in the next session okay in the sprint planning yeah this is the planning yeah yes anusha then you will handle this one this is the pbi and then you are going to work this one and then you will create some task in this then you may work every day then you may work for 6 hours and if you if you may not be complete then you will go for 6 tomorrow and then you may work but this is the planning for today is the 31st of august then is the 15 days the next to september 15 the sprint release the the sprint release of 15 september as soon as then we may complete and then we develop this report and then we may give the test case if the test case is everything is okay then we looks good to me then we go ahead with the production release so this is the planning what we are we are going to do work this is the planning that is called as sprint meeting and the sprint planning next one the retrospective retrospective is for example you been working since one month from this project so every 15 days we have one retrospective meeting the retrospective nothing but there are some boards is there 
so each we have a 10 members of team members in those different uh, azure dev team and then some other business analysts some other uh, developers some other testers like those so from those for example you are you've been working since every day but you may not be update your uh, like uh, task what will happen finally you ultimate is to update the task then you may how much work you've been done in this task how much effort you put in this task particular so those are things they be they calculated as you develop team or as you develop portal so what you were single hour now single hour what you did what you are going to be do today for example tomorrow is a holiday okay so as of today by end of the evod then you what you may calculate okay six hours you may work what effort you will be there in the end of this print every 15 days then you may observe okay this is my observation so this is to be put the effort then we may improve this sprint so like the suggestions from the all the team members that is called as a retrospective next one is the fifth one so that is the backlog refinement so backlog refinement is there in backlog is there is there a blogger there while working for example they given data to you but it is not related to data while you are creating one measure or while you are creating some data but it is not relating to yours then we are you want to do some analysis for some other data they may not be provide you that is the backlog then you may put the backlog and you will take some other pba and then you may work correct or not if you don't have that data then how can you how can you work that is that every 15 days or every weekly once we have a retro back uh, backlog refinement so is there any blocker what we are going to the next sprint what we are going to the next week plan those are then we will discuss with our some of the uh, hires the like uh, users some of the client side some of the our uh, team lead and then above manager or scrum master okay this is about the product backlog refinement last one is the monthly release okay then every 15 days we have a one sprint in some companies or in some projects are every 30 days one sprint so there is a monthly release so then you started this month for example tomorrow september 1st you may start the work and then you will finish as soon as by end of the evod end of the day and then you may release that whatever particular your development to the test case and the test case to be also be done then before that we would going to the release of the 31st of the 30 of the september so that is <coughs> sorry that is the monthly release okay these are the things you may not know so when you have seen this video then you may understand oh this is the month release this is the sprint meeting this is the sprint planning this is the retrospective okay hope you understand and you you really like this you will share this video to your friends or your colleagues something okay and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe and do bell icon for more updated videos so in the next coming session then we are going to learn some videos agenda is to who is the scrum master business analyst who is the business analyst what does role what is the azure devap and what is the epic in the azure devap what is the epic what is the future what is the product backlog what is the task so those then we are going to learn this is very pretty much interest to learn okay please touch with the next video until bye okay thank you thank you for watching and signing up navin Okay? Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay? Yeah. Bye for now. Then we will connect tomorrow. And we will be seeing next video. Okay?